Thank you very much, Peter. Okay, thank you for your kind invitation. I try to follow, you know, to to s concentrate in the in the topic as mm, as soon as possible. But I think it's important to remember the history coming back from the APRs in miles, and after that, I think it's excellent. We we can make a, a sphincter sparing with the new surgical staplers. Take a look. Very important innovation and technology. Third thing is not only innovation and technologies, ideas, and I think uh, you know that is the is the is my my master because Professor Hill, you know, descri described something in the early 80s or the late 70s, and it's still people is discussing about that. I don't know. I don't know exactly what's happened in 30 years. Maybe we are too conservative in surgery. That is the prognosis factor, uh, and everything is related with the surgery, the surgical technique, the, the, te the, the introduction of the new system, etc., is related with lymphoma metastasis, the CRM positive, and of course, you know, with the new uh, biology of the tumors, we can know more about our patients. What about distal sphincters, distal tumors to preserve the sphincters? Is to, we have to come back to Turmul and, and, and Kute Park in, in the 70s, and, and I think John Marx in uh, Trans Island, they, they call Tata, that's probably you know, followed by, by Eric Roulier with this classification, I think is quite good. And uh, you have to preserve, or you should to preserve in the majority of cases, you know, the, the anus. Other thing is the functional results. Minimal invasive surgery, do you think is it still controversial? I think yes. And we will discuss about that. We talk about single port, TEM, TAMIS, robotics, many things. However, chemo radiation now, many people is, uh, is say, okay, if you have a T2 in the low rectum, if you have any uh, N1, I think it's, it's time to use this neoadjuvant therapy, however, if you use this, maybe you can overtreat patients and maybe you can have more mor morbidity and mortality. But if you go to the last paper in the literature, mortality is still really high. It's talking uh, between 1% and 6%, and morbidity is no doubt. I don't know, leaks 0% uh, is my dream, but I never probably dream you have to sleep to have a dream because the majority is something around 10%, you know, around 10%. Wound complication, hernia, functional disorders is not a topic, but I think you have to speak with the patients because, okay, you maintain the sphincter, however, you have a lot of problems in the functional results. What's happened with the studies in laparoscopic TME versus open? Say, do you think it's better? Nobody demonstrated it's better laparoscopy than open, at least in oncological point of view. You have the color two trials, you have the classic trial with the longer follow-up, the Korean trial, or even the the, the two Amer the American trial, the Australian trial, is you know at least in the best uh, uh, thing you can have uh, uh, something equivalent, equivalent but not better, unfortunately. The problem is very difficult, and let me s let me be provocative with you because maybe you are. I think you have to wake up. If I am the judge and you decided to operate a patient with a low or mid rectum cancer by laparoscopy, I'm a judge or lawyer. I will send you to a jail. What's happened with this? You know after. I personally did more than 3,000 cases. I have to be in jail for the next 200 years. However, we have a solution. Maybe robotics? Do you think robotics could be a solution? We don't know. You have to go to the, to the literature, uh, only a few papers, and it's, again, it's equivalent, but again, people is talking about cost. Cost is really important, but the most important cost is when you have a leak. In my hospital, minimum, when you have a leak, 
of the rectal cancer, the minimum you have to pay is 3,000 euros, minimum. Sometimes you can go to 100,000 euros. E even the, at the end, after two months, the patient can die. What about nose? Nose is, uh, I think, an excellent, is uh, another step. I think we have here in the, in the meeting Maurice Flanken, I think the absolutely the leader of that, because he's, he was talking about that long time ago and nobody followed him and now we are follow, you know, thank you very much Maurice for your uh, effort. But going to the transatlantic TME, okay, you have the rectal cancer, you have the laparoscopy, remember, you are not allowed to do it, it's not good for your patients. Robotics, maybe yes, or maybe the next one is to, to do a tail, uh, TEM, or what do you want. Go to the, to the origin. Can you see here, the first patient operated, I think, in the world, thanks to Patricia. Patricia made the, the case, we helped her, and she did excellent, she's still alive, and best regards from her, to Patricia. But we move to a more softer platform, and I think it'd be easy to do. You know, the view with the 3D system is much better now. We don't have smokes, and, uh, but how you have to do this? One team, two teams, we call Cecil approach, or pure nodes. Pure not, I think, is absolutely anecdotal at the moment, and I wanted to continue with the reality, because be careful, because if you go to the steps, they are, you know exactly the abdominal fill is the same that you normally do, and let me say a simple sigmoidectomy by laparoscopy. In transanal field, you have all the things, and we, uh, we will go immediately about those items. Into the abdomen, there is a reason because at the moment, poor notes, you know, I think is not allowed it because this patient is probably has a lymph node invasion and is a very meticulous to do it like this. You can see the, the artery, you can see the vein, the lymph nodes, the nerves. Sometimes it's important to preserve the nerves. Peter is very, you know, he's absolutely agree with me. And uh, I, I think at the moment it's difficult to do this to transanally. But if you go to transanal part, you know, with this, you can make, you can close the, the, the rectum. That is a high rectum. You can close quite well. You, with the advantage of the 3D, you can close this is, uh, in uh, about 30 seconds, no more than 40 seconds. And I think it's very important to do it we will, because you will see later. But what uh, in the interesphenterial section, do you think that is good? However, if you go to, to, to the literature, there are some papers and do not understand very well what is the meaning of the interesphenterial section because by definition, this approach is an open approach and sometimes very difficult to see well. If you go to the low rectal tumors, do you think Coming back. Okay. No. No, no. The you, you go to. <laughs> okay. In the transnational part, you know, probably it's a mistake because one of the slides is you saw how to do by open the interesphenterial section, and we will discuss later because we do the case. We uh, started with this. At the end, you have a new video. It's a recent video operated yesterday. You can see the tumor, and you can do better in this way because you have opened you know, your rectum. The main problem, is again, is technology because you go through the sphincters you know, with this view. It's absolutely much better. You have the head lies the lenses, it's very complicated sometimes with the lone star. With this could be better. You will see in a, another video uh, in, a, in a minute. And immediately be careful with this because if you don't have experience, 
you have the tumor open, uh, you have the pressure. You have to close immediately that after l clean with betadine. My recommendation is please don't do this kind of tumors if you don't have experience, you know, to close very well, to close quick, because that is not good. You put a gauze with betadine and immediately you can follow with this. What about the, the insufflator? If you have the his, you know, you can see the old insufflator in the left side. I'm sorry, I cannot open the other one. You see the, the difference between both, you know, in, the, in one side is, is all the time moving, it's not a stable, it's not working the other one. It's supposed to. Okay, believe me, <laughs> I'm sorry for that. Yeah, believe me, you know, the view is like you see here, is without a smoke, etc. with the new insufflators you can use in this approach. But going to the oncological dissection, the mesorectal, that is a very difficult case. That's a, a case, previous rather chemotherapy, BMI 37, uh, a male, F very easy to find the right place, but you have to be careful bec because you can commit mistakes. However, due to the edema, to the radiotherapy, you can find quite well, and the trick is not try to push uh, out, is to push in with the gauze, and you can find the plane. Be careful because normally you will see in another video how you can make complication with this. You see the anterior part, you have to be careful with all of this and try to find uh, all the planes, all the mesorecta fascia. However, if you are not doing synchrofinential, in this case, in the right side of the patient, left side of the screen, you put all the rectal stamp and it probably you are not doing well surgery. Because now, you see, you are not dissecting well in the right side of the patient. That is the reason because we prefer to do absolutely 360 degrees. However, now go this, my God, it's a typical mistake because you don't know exactly the anatomy. I mean, you make it, it's, I was a surgeon one time, two times, it's stupid because the plane is high. Okay, but don't worry about that because this is a main problem in, in uh, abdominal side. However, in this approach, it's uh, very easy. Just do like this and that's it. Another important thing is another male with a long canal and we are making the dissection very difficult as you see and you put, you know, we sew the muscle in the right side again, again of the patient. Be careful with this, because if you do that, you enter in a, in a not plane. There are some rumors in a injury of the iliac vein in with this approach. The most important, I think, is this. This is not the anatomy, and you have to remember, you know, sometimes males, we have prostate. The best way to take out the prostate is this approach. Unfortunately, we have to open the rectum because if not, you can see the urethra and you can see the prostate. Be careful with this. Oh wait, I'm <laughs> sorry. Yeah. The another thing is the, is the, we call the Cecil approach because we, we think this uh, approach has to be performed by two teams. Okay, you can see, and the two teams is helping uh, all together. The distal pull string is no problem when you do manual or in a high rectum you can do by endoscopy. The structure of the specimen you can protect, you cannot protect, we can discuss about that. There are different devices, but I think it's important is to clean everything. Sometimes you have to take uh, the platform and after that you go to the anastomosis. The anastomosis, our recommendation is to do a J colonic pouches or uh, uh, side end. However, this is a new stapler from one of the industries, but uh, the spike is very long, is very useful. 
However, believe me, that is not ideal, you know, to do the anastomosis because it's invented to do another, another uh, type of procedures. However, mm, I don't know, I, I need your help probably uh, from United States because the engineers from the, the, those two companies never talk with me and I wanted to insist to change a little bit this uh, stapler. You see a, a beautiful donut, however, our essentials I think is going 360 degrees. You need to have all the devices required and probably two teams is much better. Believe me, you can do a rectal resection in less than 60 minutes. We did 270 cases. It's too late to discuss about that. We make a comparison with the color trial. The most important, let me say, is conversion rate. We have only one case, but his case uh, uh, is a, a patient. The abdomen was uh, converted in the laparoscopy, not comparing with the color two is a 17%. That is the majority of people around the world in this. In terms of the time, you know, it's absolutely much better in the transanal approach comparing with the open and laparoscopy in a color two trial. And if you go to the last 50 cases, is uh, 100, uh, 112 minutes, and I think it's quite good. This chart median six days, and uh, positive uh, CRM is uh, only in 8% uh, of the cases. However, the quality of the mesorectum is in 95% is excellent, probably in similar results to open. If you go now to the, to the it's a follow-up, it's absolutely short follow-up, it's only 20, 21 uh, months, uh, the reference is, is free. This is free, is 92%, local reference three, systemic reference 11, and local systemic three. That I think is quite good result at the moment. You can have here the local recurrence. The majority of them has uh, not good uh, prognosis factors previously, you know, in terms of the CE, in terms of the uh, subvascular uh, invasion, mesorectum, etc. And now this is the video I promised to Patricia. This patient was operated 24 hours ago. And you can see the tumor in the anterior part. And we customize this, uh, this platform. We cut it, you see? You see the platform, cut it, cut it, without any permission of the industry. I'm sorry for that. I don't know if you have to send me the lawyer or I send to you. Because you have to modify as soon as possible everything. Probably with the platforms, all the platforms. You know, that is a, you know, again, in this connection, you have to be careful because you are in the, in the vaginal, in the septum, and you can see that uh, the two, uh, yeah, the two, excuse me, the two, this is the typical vessels of the, of the vagina wall, and you have to go in this plane here. And I think, I don't know your idea, but I promise you that is, you know, they sent when I was with my jet lag and at the room tonight, and my, you know, colleagues from my, from my hospital sent me these images, and I think it's quite representative. That I think looks uh, good surgery. Immediately after that, you have to be very careful, and you have to close very well. You have to clean with vetaline. But it's quite easy to find the, the planes. I think it's absolutely much better to, than to do the internet spin take by, mm, uh, open. So my conclusion probably is, okay, forget it, laparoscopy in, in uh, rectal cancer and goes immediately to the transanal approach. My uh, thank you very much. And my last slide is try to invade you in a don't worry, you have not to go to Barcelona. It's only in streaming is the next, uh, uh, the next uh, meeting that we have talking about immunofluorescence. Thank you very much. Thank you,